So the frame thrower has arrived and um, it's working pretty well. See it's under here, um, it's sandwiched in between. If I can get across and show you. I'll take the heat sink off. It does get quite hot. There's the Denise chip. There's the frame thrown underneath there. There's the, the camera cable, which feeds into the Raspberry Pi. In this case, it is a Pi Zero, because that was the only cable I had. I'll put that heat sink back on. As I said, it does get very hot. Um, and there you see it goes into the Pi Zero. I've got it insulated there, and there's the Pi Storm underneath. And we're lacking chip RAM. But, and to give you an example of how it's set up here, I've got an example of what the frame thrower looks like hasn't got the pins on. It's got this lovely writing on it. Get it in the right position. And the cable just runs straight from one to the other and, it, and in this case it is called a Raspberry Pi camera cable, but this is only for the Pi Zero. Of course you need the, this is a draw type latches, you need to be very careful with it. Here's when I nudge them open. Even use a pick if you need this very carefully. Otherwise they'll rip right off. Once you open them up, you get the cable out. This is what the cable looks like. It's very fine on the Pi Zero end. Okay. Meanwhile, on the Amiga, you can now enjoy the benefit of having You've got everything just coming back through onto the HDMI screen and sound is coming next. It just looks great. So that's that.